Hello. Hello. Is he English? Good afternoon. We've got a game that you like, do you know well. Do you play it every now and then? A bit, a bit. Who do you play? Uh, my daughters. It's a game, obviously, of skill, strategy, and a bit of luck, not unlike Formula One. <laughs> but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But I'm. You're obviously a bit better than this than I am. So let's uh, let's pause for a bit. We'll what pick in it up Formula later. One or in Bengal? <laughs> Both, funnily enough. Um, let's talk a bit about this season then. Every every season has its own little sort of storyline, doesn't it? it? Has its own character. What what would you say this year's character has been for you so far? Uh, I don't know. I think it's very close this year, which uh, obviously is fun because you rock up on the grid and you know that you can do something. You know, we had our strengths, we had our weaknesses, we had our luck, we had our bad luck, if you want to say. I'm enjoying, I'm having fun. Uh, I think this generation of cars are a lot of fun to drive. Uh, they have a lot of downforce. The only downside I'd say is they're a bit heavy. Um, so they're not as agile in low speed to throw from one corner to another. But uh, overall, they're the fastest we've ever had. So that's great and that's, that's mainly what I enjoy then working with the team and obviously the dream is to win the big thing with uh, with Ferrari which we haven't done yet. You've achieved everything, you've got four world championships, you're financially secure, I hope. Um, you, <laughs> you've, earned, <laughs> you, you've earned respect. Gambling, you know. I'm into gambling. That's true, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but you've earned respect. You know, what, what, why do you still want to do this? What drives you? The best answer would be to share, you know, the feeling inside the car because People would be surprised, you know, is, okay, everybody knows how it feels to drive a car or be driven in a car, but we are doing something else. So uh, I love racing, you know, winning with Ferrari is just a, a dream of mine and uh, seeing how passionate people are in, inside this team and yeah, being one of them makes me proud and I still have something to do here. You know, I'm aware of how blessed I am uh, with doing something that I love. Yeah, that's satisfying. Indeed. Um, and what does satisfaction look like to you at the end of a weekend when you're sitting back on a plane Sunday night going home? What, even if you haven't won, what means to you that, that you've actually had a really good weekend? Um, well, mostly it's my personal effort in terms of, you know, did I do well this weekend or not? Um, did the race go well? Did I do everything that I could, basically? Um, which you are your best judge the first judge and the best judge. So did you do every, everything you could? Um, was there more? Uh, so to leave the, the track without any regrets is a powerful word, but you know, nothing that you'd, you'd look back and you think, ah, this I should have done or should have tried something, um, which obviously happens because it's, it's normal, but uh, that's one. Then how satisfying the work has been during, across the weekend with the team. Uh, whether you got everything out of the car, out of the team, out of everyone, um, and whether you had fun. It's also about, you know, at the end of the day, okay, I'm not that old yet, but, uh, you know, life is for living, and uh, you want to have a good time, and I think I'm, you know, I'm aware of how blessed I am uh, with doing something that I love, uh, and people pay me for it, um, joining passionate people around me, um, yeah, you could argue it's silly and there's no meaning, but for us the meaning is huge and for us that's, that's our life and to be part of that, yeah, that's satisfying. So if we have a good weekend, it's depending on those things and obviously the result is a measure of, normally it's a good measure of did you, you know, do well or not. So of course, you know, when I remember back the times in Toro Rosso, we finished 12th and I had a blast. Yeah. So that, you know, I left the track and I was happy um, because it was everything that we could do. Other races I left 17th and I was sad because, or unhappy because I could, could do 15th, you know. So then it shifts, obviously, the more competitive car you have and you get a bit more reward. Uh, you get a trophy, a, a bottle of champagne and a bit of bonus. So, you know, it just shifts, but yeah. the satisfaction is the same. Okay, I see what you mean. Well, one other thing, apart from your prowess at uh, Yeah, you're still, board I, games, have your, I, I have a good proposal yeah, for you. Yeah, you but, do. Uh, as well as your prowess at, at backgammon. Uh, Go ahead, five or three. Also, you have time enough to think. You're I made also, your, I made your, I, I, I made out already what I would do. In okay, your, all right. We'll pick it up in a second. You're also well known for your artistic uh, ability with your crash helmet designs, which are just. I wish I could do it. Yeah, beautiful. myself. Well, but, do you yeah. design the? I mean, we got one from well, Japan last year. It's absolutely got the ninja there, koi carpet, it, 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 and it changes. 
Go, which is of course not Go. Yeah, well, it's but five, exactly, yeah. Five in Japanese. There you go, nice. Um, do you design, I mean, these are beautiful. Singapore last year as well. Do you design them and why do you yeah. like to change them every now and again? Well, technically I'm not changing, just no. to be clear uh, within the uh, sets of regulations. And the <laughs> FIA is listening. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know, it's just fun to play around with little, these are little details, so I, I'm surprised you spot it because normally people don't catch it. But hey, I spot everything. Uh, but uh, yeah, just, you know, uh, I keep my helmets as well. I know that a lot of drivers sell them. Um, okay, I could be making money, but... And if you win with one, you never wear it again? Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it dates back. I'm not that superstitious, but it dates back from Monza where, can you imagine, you know, you win your first Grand Prix and, you know, I, I said already on Saturday, I sort of buried the, the underwear, the suit, the shoes, yeah. everything, yeah. because that's pole position in Formula One. And then on Sunday, it happened again. This is my favourite. And favorite. that's where the... Yeah, that I love was, the blue. was that last year. Last that was last year. year. What do you think yeah. Francesco Baracca, the uh, World War One ace, whose emblem was the prancing horse, would make of of all these things? Well, I think now he, by now he would have seen a lot. So I think <laughs> he'd like it. I hope so at least. You've done so the it's just to play around a little bit. And I also, you know, by now I get a lot of. Uh, obviously, I'm not doing it all on my own. I Jens mostly Monza, with yeah. yeah exactly with Jens, uh, uh, who's doing a very good job with his crew. Uh, and also by now I get quite a lot of input from uh, people outside, fans that, you know, this one for example, there was a fan, a Chinese fan and we did it for the Chinese Grand Prix. Yeah. He was writing some and, and sending some, uh, writing a letter and sending some proposals. So we took some of the elements. Yeah, I'm still surprised to see that. Yeah, that's, the, cool, that's come it? for the first time in Monaco. You've yeah. now got these yeah. powder, powder coated that on the, yeah, that's really nice. Nice touch. Nice detail, yeah. yeah. I like that. Well, listen, what do you get up to apart from designing helmets in between races? Have you got any sort of projects that you're working on at the moment? Uh, I'm still Fun restoring, I, you know, I don't know, how do you call the motorbikes, but the one with the pedals, moped. Yeah, Is it moped? moped with pedals, yeah. yeah. I still have mine and I'm still restoring it for now quite a while. That's, that's a project. You, you arrive home and there's, the, you know, all the bits are waiting and you get to it and then you, where did I stop last time? This is so long ago. And then it takes you an hour or two to just get back in the zone. Yeah. Then you, you work on it and then there's something else. Then you leave for another week and you come back with the same problem. So that's, it would help to have a bit more continuous time to, to finish that. Uh, because I can't tell you how many years now I'm, is that that is work in progress. Um, I don't know, I try a little bit of everything. Obviously I like to move, uh, also to keep fit. So I spend a lot of time moving, but uh, I think the best answer for that is that generally people think, okay, he's a Formula One driver, uh, he must have a really fancy life doing this and uh, everything he wants, going everything, everywhere he wants and so on. Actually, I quite enjoy the boring life. You know, I like to be at home. I, I like the fact that I don't have to travel and just, yeah, do a bit of DIY uh, at home. Just normal, normal things. Well, you need to clear the mind, don't you? Yeah. Have you had any yeah. thoughts about what you might do after racing? Because Germany now has a space <laughs> program, so maybe yeah, you could I mean, be. I uh, think it's a long way to qualify to be a pilot or to be part of that mission, but. Uh, well, but the young boys either want to be a racing driver or maybe yeah, an astronaut. Perhaps you Fire could be. I don't know. There's a lot of things actually I'd like to do. I'd like, like to do, you know, places to visit. I mean, we go to so many places, but we hardly ever have time. So maybe I go for, you know, go to a couple of Formula One races to actually enjoy the race. Some years back, I had a, <laughs> an encounter with a policeman and he was asking, uh, so why, what was the purpose of your stay? I said, uh, visiting the Formula One. I was here for the Grand Prix, I said. And then he said, ah, uh, did you watch the race? I said, yeah, I did. Did you have good seats? I said, well, technically I had only one seat, but it was a good seat, yes. <laughs> ah, okay, well, have a good journey. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, it would be interesting to see, you know, what's going on around, because obviously when you're in the zone and when you're busy, then you don't see, see so much of what's yeah. going on. But, uh, yeah, a lot of things, a lot of things that I thought, okay, one day, one day, one day. But the day hasn't come yet, and I'm still, yeah. you know, I picked this before all the days. Maybe. Still to come. You'd be more famous in Canada if you joined the Mounties. The what? The Mounties, you know, the Canadian mounted policemen with the funny hats. These oh, yeah? ones, these guys. <laughs> yeah, I like the mountains. Maybe why not? Look, he's so, a good-looking chap. There's a lot of hikes. He Canada's seems, a beautiful. Yeah, exactly. He seems to be holding. A, 
groundhog? It's or? a beaver. The ground, yeah. what, you, why don't you... Beaver, beaver gra same thing. A badger or something like that. No, okay. badger is different. No? A badger, exactly. Listen, Sebastian, you've, uh, you've got places to go. I've got things to do. Um, you've got me on the ropes here. Oh, you need to come in at three or five. Oh, okay. All Which right. one? Well, Pick I'm, one. I'm working anti-clockwise, so I need to come back yeah, here but eventually. It makes no so sense I'll to go here. Well, Next time you play with your daughters, because one is vulnerable, I can kick you with one and oh, go yeah. there. Yeah, but you wouldn't do that, you're nice. I would. No, you I would, would kick, I would kick you, you immediately. You I just did, before.